I love to have a simple crochet project on the go that I can work on when I'm out and about, when I'm talking to people, when I'm watching TV. And that's where the amber plaid throw comes in, a blanket made up of 80 herringbone half double crochet squares. With its plaid design and modern twist on the classic half double crochet, this pattern is soothing to me. You'll be surprised how quickly you work up a stack of squares. Before we get started, I just want to mention the pattern is free on my blog if you do prefer a written pattern, so just click the link in the description to get to that. To get started on the blanket, you're going to need a few tools, the first one being your 4.5mm or US 7 crochet hook, you're also going to need yarn needle and some scissors. And of course the yarn. The pattern calls for Winter Glow Solid, a worsted weight wool acrylic blend. The colour scheme is easily customisable but I use six colours, pineapple, curry, copper, dark mint, teal and dark teal. You'll need to make 80 squares in total, 20 in copper and dark mint and 10 for the remaining four colours. As I mentioned before this blanket uses the herringbone half double crochet stitch. If you're unfamiliar with this stitch click up here to watch my tutorial. To make the squares begin by chaining 21. For the first row, herringbone half double crochet in the second chain and every remaining chain. You should have a total of 20 stitches. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. For the next 16 rows, herringbone half double crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Once you've completed a total of 17 rows, do not fasten off, we're going to add a border. Begin by placing a single crochet in each stitch until one stitch remains. Place three single crochets in the final stitch, do not turn, we're going to continue working down the side of the square. Single crochet into the end of each row. When you get to your foundation chain, place three single crochets into the first chain, one single crochet into each of the chains until one remains and place three single crochets in that final chain. Then single crochet into the end of each row. When you get back to the beginning, place two single crochets into the first herringbone half double crochet you worked into. Then slip stitch with the first single crochet to join. Finally, fasten off and weave in the end. Once you've made all of your squares, you'll need to block them and seam them together using the mattress stitch. Sew together the vertical columns shown in this image, each consisting of 10 squares. Once you have all eight columns complete, sew them together. The blanket is finished by adding fringe to the shorter edges of the blanket. Starting in the corner, fringe should be added to every other stitch. The colour of the fringe should match the adjacent square. To make the fringe, cut three strands of yarn roughly six inches in length. Insert your hook into the stitch and fold all three strands in half over your hook. Pull up a large loop. Pull all of the loose ends through the loop and pull tight. With the final fringe in place, step back and admire your work. Your amber plaid throw is complete and ready to be enjoyed. If you have any questions or want to showcase your finished amber plaid throw, don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to see them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.